not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name be the glory because of your love and faithfulness. What is worship? What is worship? What is worship? Ah, the word worship means to show a lot of love and adoration for something. As Christ followers, the object of our expression of love and adoration is Jesus. Worship is what we give ultimate, absolute worth and value to in our lives. I think worship is treasuring God above all else. Worship is the adoration of God through praise so that we can elevate Him higher than ourselves. Worship is a way to show our full devotion to the Lord through putting aside our own selfish tendencies and showing that He's higher than us. Worship is praising, thanking, exalting the one who does for us what we could never do for ourselves. True worship is focusing on God, giving Him the praise, the glory, the thanks, all that He deserves because of His love for us and for His faithfulness to us. Worship is an act of sacrifice, surrendering our personal agendas and just focusing on God and what He's done and who He is. In the Greek, the word proskuneo means to bow down before God. So as we live our lives, not just on Sunday morning, but every day we bow our will before God, our desires, we bow those, we put those underneath God's will. We worship God all the time, not just when we're sitting down to sing a praise or having our devotions, but worship is 24 seven. Worship is honoring and glorifying the Lord with everything that we do. Worship is when creation takes the proper place in regards to its creator. Worship is telling God what's true about himself in both words and deeds. Part of worship is telling God all the wonderful things about Him. I love the way He created. I love His plan for, for all of us, His children. I love the way His Son, Jesus, obeyed His Father. I am so thankful for just the privilege of coming before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords in worship. Worship is really the natural response that we have when we spend time pondering God and His holiness and His goodness and His righteousness, and just how worthy He is of our praise. And so it's our natural response to uh, spending time with the Lord. I love the fact that worship can look so different. You get to worship collectively as a group, singing songs, but also it's such an intimate thing where you get to worship His name when you're alone and, and just the different acts of how that can overflow. When I have the proper perspective on who God is, and I apply that to my life, then worship will flow in my obedience, in my attitude, in my relationships. So I believe worship is just living a lifestyle of doing everything we do for God's honor and glory, but not for our own. We were called to, to give God glory. We were called to enjoy Him. And when we worship, we get to do those two at the same time. And what better place to be found than to worship the Lord? I'm acknowledging who God is. I am in wonder of His being. I think that's the moment where we actually step into humility in a pure way. And in those moments of worship, that's when we recognize not fighting against, but actually accepting how much we need a Savior and how much we need to be dependent on Him. We are compelled to worship God because He's so good. And worship can take many forms, but it's really a posture before the Lord, a posture of humility that allows us to magnify Him and to spend our time and our efforts and our prayer and really the best that we have in glorifying His name. Love is the greatest. And the greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. And the most important thing that we can do is the most important thing, that which is the greatest, which is to love God. God is truly worthy of our worship. All of us who have experienced God and know Him as their Yeshua, their Savior and Deliverer, can't help but worship Him. God's Word in Romans talks about a living sacrifice. We're supposed to be living unto God and worshiping Him and dead to ourselves, not worshiping ourselves and our sin. We've been freed from that. Hallelujah, what a Savior. So we're actually blessed that we get the choice of worshiping God. 
Thank you, Lord. Woohoo! Our desire is that we would pass on the baton of faith from one generation to the next, raising up a generation of children and teenagers who have grasped what it is to live in love with Jesus so that worship is something their whole life exudes. Father, Father, El Roy, the God who sees. El Shaddai, Lord God Almighty. El Elyon, my Redeemer, Redeemer lives. lives. Yahweh the Lord. Adonai, Lord God. Elohim, God the Creator. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide. Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. Jehovah Nisi, the Lord is my banner. Jehovah Shalom, the Lord is peace. Jehovah Ra, the Lord is my shepherd. Jehovah Shema, the Lord who is there. El Olam, the everlasting God. Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts. The Great I Am. The Great I Am. The Great I Am. Worship his name. 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 Worship his name.